is Keisha. And you're probably wondering what I am sitting next to today. Why, it's a sign, and it has an R and an R on it. I bet many of you know what this sign is. But if you don't, it's a crossroad sign. It tells us when we're driving in a car that we're about to hit railroad tracks. And it's important to be cautious around railroad tracks because we know what's on a railroad track, right? A train! And we don't want our car to be hit by a train. It's important that we look and listen before crossing the railroad tracks. As you can also see behind me, there's a big screen. I'm going to be introducing you this week to our Kid Vid videos. Now you're probably wondering, what's that? Well, this is where we take our day's Bible point and we apply it and we see it lived out in a child's life. The child might be a little bit older or a little bit younger than you, but often situations that you yourself might find yourselves in or can relate to. But before I introduce you to today's ch child, let's go ahead and go over our Bible point. Jesus's power helps us do hard things. So we can think of Jesus like a cross, and maybe we can think of power like strength. So Jesus's power helps us do hard things. Maybe we can just like slouch for hard, because we can find that hard things are often things we don't want to do. Can you think of a time when you've had to do something hard, something you didn't want to do? Maybe it was so hard that you just backed away. You didn't even try. Or maybe you were scared to fail. You didn't want the disappointment or the hurt for not being able to do something. Or maybe you did try and you got frustrated because it was so hard. We can imagine the emotions, the clenched fists, maybe even the snapping of a pencil when we're in a situation that's hard. Or maybe the emotion isn't the frustration, but it can even bring us to crying and tears because we're so sad that we're unable to complete whatever it is. Today, we're gonna learn about a kid whose name is Dominic. Again, he might be a little bit older or a little bit younger than you. You'll see him in just a few seconds in our video. But he is, tries really hard at karate. That's his thing. He loves, loves, loves to practice and do karate. All the hayas and the punches. But what you might not know about karate is that it is a sport that focuses on self-control while it strengthens not only our body but the mind as well. And we'll see that. And Dominic does an amazing job explaining all that to us. And he often has to go through things that are hard, that are difficult when he's trying to get the next belt or doing a difficult move in his karate classes. So we'll see him right now. My name is Dominic and I'm almost 11 years old. Dominic lives with his mom, dad, grandma and grandpa. He enjoys all kinds of hobbies, but one is his favorite. I like to build things. I also like karate a lot. I love karate because I get to really express myself and I get to have fun. And I also get to build character and build physical strength. Learning karate is hard work. Dominic practices up to three times a week. Plus, he practices at home with his dad. The hardest thing about karate is definitely a lot of push-ups, leg lifts, sit-ups. Dominic knows that he needs to trust Jesus when things get hard. 
there was this board breaking thing and I saw all the other kids break it with their palm right here, right here. Boom. Just didn't work out for me. Dominic failed to break the board with his hand, but he didn't give up. He continued to train, and he asked Jesus to help him. And I said, I'm going to break this board. It's an obstacle in my way, and let me push through it. And ha! I broke it. Another part of karate is taking tests to earn new belts. Each belt color represents a new level. Earning a new belt is hard. I was very discouraged on the first day because I was afraid I wasn't gonna pass and that's what brought me down. The second day, I was feeling very, very discouraged, very, very, very sad. And I thought, I don't think I'm gonna pass this and I didn't. I failed and I failed and I failed. Finally got to the last day that I could possibly test and I said, this isn't gonna be like those last times. I am going to pass it. I said, you know what, Jesus, Jesus can help me get through this. I'm just gonna pray to him today. I am gonna pass the test tomorrow. And I did. In the Bible, in the book of Philippians, chapter four, verse 13, it says, for I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. My three day test, it was really hard. And Jesus helped me through that. I was nervous for it. If you're going through hard things, I suggest that all you need to do is just trust in God and he'll help you. Pray to God and he can get you through anything. Jesus' power helps us do hard things. that amazing? I mean, yeah, Dominic had some real struggles, didn't he? He really struggled when it came to breaking the board with his hand or the frustration of being so close to the end of the class that he failed one test, he failed another test, he failed the next test. He only has one more chance to pass before he has to take the whole class over again, just so that he has another chance to pass. But in those difficult times, in that struggle, what did Dominic do? If you said that he prayed and trusted in God, you're absolutely right. Dominic prayed and he put his trust in God, asked for focus, asked for the self-control, to be able to focus and do the moves that he needed to do so that he could break the board and that he could pass the class, even if it was his last chance to do it before he had to take the class over again. I hope we can take something from Dominic today as we can remember to put our trust in God. Now this reminds me of our Bible verse. So let's go ahead and practice today's Bible verse. I'm gonna do it with hand motions so that you can follow along and maybe make it a little bit easier to remember. All right, for I, go ahead and point to your eyes, for I can do everything, big hand motion for everything, right? For I can do everything through Christ, go ahead and make a cross, through Christ who gives me strength and we can flex our muscles for this, right? Let's try it again. For I can do everything through Christ, go ahead and make a cross, who gives me strength. And that comes from Philippians chapter four, verse 13. One more time. Philippians chapter four, verse 13. See if we can remember that this week as in times of struggle, when things get hard, it's a good verse to remember as it tells us to put our trust in God. Now, before you go, one last thing. I want you to go ahead and pull out your notebook if you have one. They come in a variety of colors, nice and small. If you don't have a notebook, don't worry. Go ahead and just pull out a notebook that you have or a piece of paper and go ahead and grab a pencil or pen. 
And today I challenge you, this week, to look in your lives for something that reminds us of God. Now, it could be as simple as nature, maybe a sunrise or sunset, and remember that God was the one who created the world, or maybe a situation wasn't going so right at home or in your life, and a solution just happens to happen. We can give thanks to God for that. Go ahead and write down a few notes so that we can see and track God in our lives this week. And it's also a wise idea to maybe bring up what you see to your parents or to your siblings. Get a family discussion going about how we see God in our lives. It's a great activity to do, maybe not just this week, but maybe throughout all of summer or just keep on doing it. Well, that's it for me today. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you tomorrow for our next KidVid video. Bye!